Hello everyone, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue and today I've come down to the Southdown Motor Home Centre in Portsmouth to take a look at this beautiful MLT 580 by Hymer. So let's go and have a closer look. As you can see, she's on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. She's a 170 horsepower Euro 6 engine upgrade and she's an all-wheel drive. The cab's in this fabulous Tenorite grey metallic and then we've got a lovely silver body with the Hymer graphics. So it stands at 2.92 metres high and 2.22 metres wide and it is 6.74 metres long, so nice and compact. Right, so lockers. This one has a hold back catch, contains all your trip switches and your fuse box. To excuse the gloves because it's a little bit chilly. It is only January. We have got slots for four lithium batteries and all the electronics. So you can be off grid for quite some time with four lithium batteries. And here we have the toilet cassette locker. And there is a sock fitted to this toilet. And there's your little stopper. Space for some gloves too. Here we've got the gas locker and because we've got a diesel heater fitted we've got two small gas bottles because it's just for your um, cooking and it's got the crash sensor fitted and a space up top here for your spare toilet cassette or some cables or waste pipes and then of course you've got the big garage lovely big garage sorry about the background noise you've got some built-in shelving for all your equipment there are some lashing points down on that side so you could bring it along here and use tie downs for bicycles or motorbikes. It's nice and tall. Some little pockets. Coming around the back, we have got the lovely Heimer logo and decals, uh, reversing camera. And it looks like we're fitted with a tow bar here as well. And if I just open the garage from this side, you'll be able to see just how big it really is really spacious lots and lots of room in there and it's plated to 450 kilograms you've got an external shower point which is very useful for um, washing your feet if you've been to the beach or dogs if you've got any pets or children a couple of sockets and a 12 volt socket as well and storage to hide all your bits and pieces box has got bits that come with the van this is brand new van here we have got the Shore power, electric socket, EHU, that one's still locked, um, that'll be a barbecue point. And a fabulous awning. It's all on Mr Awning. Wind out. One of the features that's changed on this year's model is the rear windows have been made slightly smaller. Let's have a look inside the cab. As I say, we are on a Mercedes. We've got some beautiful dark grey leather seats with the Heimer logo em embroidered into the headrest. You've got the bolster at the front, so if you're long-legged, you can move it backwards and forwards to make life more comfortable. You've got your telephone controls, your radio controls, your cruise control and things like that. The dash itself has some fabulous cup holders and in here, We've got space to charge some phones and gadgets and it looks like there's a 12 volt charging socket there. Some more cup holders on that side. Some storage pockets, very useful. These cup seats are extremely comfortable, I have to say. There are blinds, so you can be private. They're on a rail and they meet in the middle and they join with a magnet in the middle. And the same on the side door. It's an automatic stop start button. And as I say, you've got your nav, your radio, your telephone, air conditioning and heater, obviously. Window defrosters and all the usual. So I'll get my coat off and we'll have a look in the habitation area. So let's have a look inside. We have got this bin on the door. Nice window with a blind so you can close it and get a little bit of privacy in the evening. Nice concertina blind there and central locking and some coat hooks. We have got an electric step which 
pops out lovely. And as I say, you have got a, an awning, slide out awning. It's not electronic, but it does have uh, dimmable LED lights along the edge, which will strobe on the camera, but it does give some lovely ambient lighting for the night time. Right, I've switched to wide angled lens so that you can get a good view of the space. It does slightly distort the angles of things that are close up, but it's just to give you a better idea of the space that's available inside. Right, well, we'll start in the bedroom area for a change. We have got steps up, built-in steps, and it's a lovely space, I have to say, for a compact vehicle. We're on the native bamboo, which if you've seen my Home Adventure S video, you will recognise this uh, finish and these wall panels are all, and even the door handles actually, have all filtered down from the Venture S, which is fabulous. Um, they spend a lot of money on that vehicle developing it, so it's good to see that it's all coming down into the more reasonably priced, some might say, <laughs> vehicles. What they have done in here this year, in this year's model, is reduce the depth of the storage cupboards overhead so that you don't bang your head or your knees or anything while you're up on the bed. So they're nice and deep. As I say, we have got the rail system. It's not on all the levels like it is on the Venture S, it's just on the top two. So you can buy the optional extra gadgets like the light fittings and there's little pockets and shelves and hooks and things like that that can go into the rail system. You do get the cushions, the beautiful cushions. On this side, we've got just a space here that's been put in as a a little tie back and there's a little rail at the top there so you could hang something if you wanted. A nice big pocket at the back there with concealed lighting. All this lighting is dimmable so that's fabulous. There is also a small skylight in this one which is openable and has got um, blinds on it to block out the night should you want to. Up in that recess we have got some sockets. There is a 230 volt socket, a USB and a USC. USC powers the light, the little side lights. There are There is some LED light strip underneath the back headboard area as well and some light switches there to control it. The windows are openable and they do have the usual blind or insect mesh. The lighting is also controllable from the main control panel or your phone app in fact and you can change the warmth of the light too. So you've got your smoke detector there as well. So you can either have it as it is in this configuration with two single beds, or there's an infill here that allows you to place this cushion and make one large bed. Obviously, if you do that, you need to be able to access the bed more easily. So what they've done is they've built into this top step a concealed ladder. You lift the lid, pull down the flap, and then you lift this section and it swings forward, easier with two hands, but it swings forward to bring your step out. And then obviously you would put that back down. And then when your infill panel is in place, you can still climb easily on the steps to get up onto the bed. Obviously there's a plank that goes underneath here to give it support. It's just not in place at the moment. These cushions here are to turn the front table area into a single bed. Yes, yeah, so the bottom step, the top comes off and you've got access to some pipes, but it's got a little bit of storage as well. On this side of the bed, we have some fabulous hanging space, really big storage area, which has a light in here as well. So you can see what you're doing. It is also accessible from standing, so it just lifts up. And I notice that it's got the fabulous sprung bedding. This is brilliant. Uh, we have this on our van. Um, it's brilliant for keeping your mattresses aired underneath. They don't get mouldy or damp and it keeps circulation air going underneath 
and gives you a bit of added spring. It's like having a sprung mattress in a motorhome. Moving on back, we have another piece of wardrobe space, which I think you will see has a light and a hanging rail in this, very tall, all the way down to the bottom. So you've got plenty of space for jumpers, bags, shoes. And then moving further back, this owner decided to have the oven installed. It's a small oven. It's more common in British vans to have an oven. Uh, obviously European ones don't normally have them because they're outside barbecuing all the time, but you've got a lovely little oven here. Um, yeah, so never used. And then you've got the Dometic two-way fridge. I say two-way, it's probably a three-way fridge. It's got gas, electric and 12 volt, but it's two-way in that the door opens in two directions. A nice big freezer compartment. And lots of lovely storage and a vegetable shelf at the bottom. You've got door space shelf as well. So yeah, good size fridge that for a fairly compact van. And underneath there is a little locker. There is some night lights at the bottom here. They're brilliant if you have to get up in the night time. There is also an extractor fan over this area, so it'll take out any smells from the oven and the cooking hob and the shower, of course, as well. I mean, it does have a blind on it. Opposite the fridge area is the washroom. Nice and compact. It's got a nice curve on it, so it actually gives you plenty of space at the foot of the stairs. A couple of hooks here on the outside. Let's have a look. So as I say, this curved door with a nice big mirror on it and some hooks to hang your towels or bathrobe. Inside we have a skylight, which is great, a hanging rail as well, great for hanging wet coats and things. Lovely black finishes, just like the Venture S, black matte taps, space to store your shampoo bottles and duck boards on the bottom, which you remove when you're showering. So the great thing about this shower cubicle is once you've taken the duck boards out, you have got two drain holes in the floor so that it does, even if your van's not level, it does actually drain away. And you've also got proper shower doors, which fold out and stop all your bathroom from getting wet. And it is actually glass, it's not plastic. And the same on this side, they fold out to fill the shape of the floor void. They took away lovely. And obviously when you're driving, you fold them back away, like so, and hold them in position with these catches so that they don't rattle around while you're driving. There is also a blind, insect mesh or concertina blind to block out the light and an air vent. And we've got some cupboards with a socket for drying your hair, or charging a toothbrush. And we've got a little shelf area with straps in that help you to keep your bottles safe from rattling around while you're driving. Sink area, you've got your cups, which again are glass. You've got a lovely sink with the matte black tap. You've got a little locker underneath, toilet roll, pokes through the hole and then you've got little shelves in there and again a little night light on the floor level there's a little recess here and you've got a bench seat style Thetford toilet nice height that it's not on a step or anything hmm. a little bit of storage space under the floor there got a nice big mirror with lighting over it. The lights are dimmable, there's a recessed light underneath here. Coming out of the bathroom you are into the kitchen area and we have a lift up side piece on a gas strut which is very good with some little storage shelves down the side of the door there. So to put it back down again you do need to Remove that bit of bar there, just a little bit, so that it can slide back down. 
obviously we've got three burner hob Dometic and a fabulous sink there and as you may recognize for also from the Heim Adventure S you've got and just put the chopping board down that's quite heavy <laughs> we've got the lovely matte black taps and the tile this is not the real tile version this is sort of a tile effect backing uh, a couple of sockets place for some of your hook rails and again you've got the little finishes that you have in the Venture S you've got a lovely built-in window with blinds and meshes which opens you've got your heating vent down the back there so yeah nice big sink as well that as I say this is a chopping doubles up as a chopping board as well so you can have to, have it as a chopping board too and then you've got two big drawers this one has as you can see acres of space and a concealed drawer underneath which has a huge cutlery drawer and space at the side there for some more things also got your gas controls underneath here for the cooker and the hob and then the bottom drawer has your recycling bin you can have one bin for recycling waste and one on the door for general waste as well now then as i say we have got lighting controls here so we've got these ones are obviously the down lights above your head and then you've got the recessed lighting which as you can see comes on above all the cupboards we have also got the light that can be used as an up light or a down light also from the Venture S and an overhead locker with some controls in it so you've got your inverter control and your Truma uh, INET ready control there and some shelves here with felt on the bottom fabulous window lets in lots of natural light but so does this amazing skylight it's changed over the years it's now sort of more flat to the ceiling it's got a nice surround with inset lights and concealed handle um, for opening the vent and can be closed off at night time again with the concertina blinds or the fly net to keep the insects out once you've opened it but the control panel is the new connect system so just wake it up and as you can see it shows you everything you need to know your vehicle battery your leisure batteries how much fresh water how much gray water um, and then we've got more controls for the brightness of the lights and the temperature of the lights so if i adjust this if you look at this light above the doorway you should be able to see that it's now a really blue bright white light and as you can turn it down you get a nice warm glow so the temperature changes so you can get a more yellow light you can turn your fridge on and off for here from here set the temperature what mode it's in what power source it's using and then we've got vehicle details we've got the chassis info the mileage the water the fuel level add blue level the central locking and outside temperature which is currently 11 degrees and the power so we've got the mains battery is 90 percent charged 12 volt connection it's not connected to anything at the moment so yeah it's got everything you really need to know fresh and gray water and you can download an app which lets you control it all from your phone they have installed a few little rails along the side here along by the door so you can buy some gadgets to attach to that so as you can see you've got a beautiful l-shaped banquet seating with the native bamboo finish worktop with the edge cut off so you can get access both seats do swivel you've got a lovely charcoal gray leather seats in here and they've changed the design of the headrests now so they look more in keeping with the sofa rather than a sort of automotive design but they are passenger seats with seat belts when in driving mode obviously you lift up the headrest and when you're not using the seat belts this is velcroed on here and you can just tuck them in behind the leather 
bolster cushion so that they're not there when you're using it as a dinette. Lower those back into position so that they don't block your beautiful television. Now this is an optional extra to have a TV or not. If you don't have the television then this actually has a small pull-out cupboard. Um, this button doesn't actually do anything when the TV's there but when you don't have the TV there is a uh, pull-out uh, section of cupboard there. You've got a height adjustable table. Underneath the table here there is a handle which you release. That allows you to slide the table backwards and forwards and then you can lock it into position with the handle underneath there. Now this table does, it, does come into use when you want to make up the um, single bed or the spare mattresses over there. Uh, it is obviously a small single. You slide it forward, push it down to its lowest setting and install the cushions, turning the seat around to become sort of a footrest for the single bed. But yes, they're beautifully comfortable seats, very squishy and hard wearing leather too. Very practical colour. Over the cab area, we also have from the Heim Adventure S these task lights. They're on a rubberized stem, so you can mould them to wherever you want them. And attached to the task light is a USB socket too. And that just tucks away neatly in the shelf. But the thing that's making the whole cab really lovely is this fantastic skylight over the cab area. It does open and it does have blinds so you can shut the light out at night time um, as, you, as do all the others and it's got the insect mesh but it does open out and push up. There is a task light on this side too and a coat hook to hang your coat up behind the passenger or driver's seat. There's one on each side and as I say the seats are swivel so they can come out, join in with the table. Table will slide out slightly. So yes, I think I've covered the whole vehicle. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I love the fact that they've brought down from the Venture S some of the features. Um, they're not exactly the same as the Venture S, but they're very, very close. It's very comfortable. The driver's seat's really comfy. We have a Heimer and we have these exact seats in our Heimer and we have driven for days and days in them without any tiredness. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful vehicle. The owner is a very lucky person. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Heimer MLT 580. If you have and you're interested in getting one for yourself, don't forget to contact Southdown Motor Home Centre in Portsmouth. They're brilliant. I'm sure they can sort you out. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.